Oh no, Team Amber is really losing on every ground as the judge has disallowed Amber's lawyer, Elaine, for talking to the media. Truly, Amber and her team have bitten way more than they can chew, and the judge doesn't seem to approve of how unprofessional they have been since the court's verdict was declared. How bad did Elaine mess up? Are there more consequences for her actions? Let's get into the video and find out. Following the declaration of the court's verdict, Elaine Bredehoff started a media spree, communicating how ineffective and vulnerable the jury members were. According to her lopsided social media chatter and posts about the Johnny Depp defamation trial influenced the verdict and turned the courtroom into a zoo. And it was horrible. It, it really, really was lopsided. And I appreciate your saying that. It's like the Roman Colosseum, you know, the, how they viewed this whole case. Redahoff said she believes jurors could not escape the intense social media frenzy surrounding the trial. How can you not? They went home every night. They have families. The families are on social media. We had a 10-day break in the middle because of the judicial conference. There's no way they couldn't have been influenced by it, she said. She went further to tag the social media coverage as horrible. Of course she'd say that. In the six-week trial, posts on TikTok and Twitter overwhelmingly appeared to favor Depp. So maybe everyone expected Team Amber to say that. It's like the Roman Coliseum, you know, how they viewed this whole case. I was against cameras in the courtroom, and I went on record with that and argued against it because of the sensitive nature of this. But it made it a zoo, Breda Hoft added. She described the first words Heard said to her after the bombshell jury decision was announced. One of the first things she said is, I'm so sorry to all those women out there. This is a setback for all women in and outside the courtroom, Breda Hoff said. She feels the burden of that. Breda Hoff said the verdict sends a horrible message. Unless you pull out your phone and you video your spouse or your significant other beating you, effectively you won't be believed, she added. But fans believe that Elaine is oblivious of the fact that she might be held in contempt of court. The case closure is still due at the end of the month, as both sides are supposed to be establishing their respective plan to obey the court order, which is majorly the payment of damages. Elaine appears to be acting in contempt since these administrative affairs are still not complete for this case and she is actually undermining the process in her interviews. A fan pointed out the Cornell law that explains contempt of court as the disobedience of an order of a court which possesses a threat to the orderly administration of justice. The purpose of recognizing contempt of court is to secure the dignity of the courts and the uninterrupted and unimpeded administration of justice. Besides, under the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure, Rule 70, a party that falls to perform a specific act under a judgment by a court can be charged with contempt. Well, whether or not Amber instructed Elaine to speak with the media, her team is sinking faster than expected. Lovers of the Black Mass actor have shared their thoughts on how unprofessional Elaine has been these past few days. One fan wrote, Gee, is someone a sore loser? We really feel for you, Elaine, just about as much as you felt for Johnny when you were telling all those heinous lies, and you and Amber were playing all those life-destroying dirty tricks on him. So cry me a river, Elaine. Elaine Bredehoft is gaslighting the public, taking advantage of people who don't know the ins and outs of the legal system, misrepresenting the Sun trial and the decisions made about evidence for this one. Dear true victims, you will be believed, another wrote. While some have claimed that they felt pity for Elaine during the trial, but with her action after the legal battle, they can't help but feel irritated by her. One fan wrote, Many people were willing to give Elaine the benefit of the doubt after she cried after the trial because she had gone through a lot. People were willing to empathize with her. She was just doing her job as a lawyer. She should have kept it at that. She's just another AH after all. I really wanted to give Elaine the benefit of the doubt, but turns out she's in it for the fame and doesn't care if she's spreading more lies to get it. She's continuing to defame Johnny and slapping the jury and judge in the face, another added. It looks like Team Amber is creating a mountain of problems for Amber, and if not cautioned, Amber might completely part ways with her career. What do you think? Do you think Elaine destroyed Amber's chance of regaining her reputation? Or talking to the media was a wise decision? Click on the comment section below and let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. See you next time.